Four, we are joined by Oregon Congresswoman Suzanne Bonamici. Thanks for being with us here today. Happy you're, to be here. You're now back for your fall tours. Yes. Let's talk about what the Attorney General Jeff Sessions said today here in Portland about sanctuary cities, blasting Oregon and Portland particularly for being sanctuary cities. What is your reaction to that? We all want our communities to be safe. But this state has for years realized that it's safer when we don't use our local and state resources to enforce federal immigration laws. That's ICE's responsibility. It's the federal government's responsibility to enforce federal immigration laws. We want everybody in the community to participate in the justice system and to feel safe reporting crimes and testifying against perpetrators. So we want uh, people to participate and they won't do that if they're afraid uh, of law enforcement. So. Uh, the, the policy we have in Oregon is a policy that keeps our community safer. It is ICE's responsibility to enforce federal immigration laws. So people that, that are against sanctuary cities would say, well, Portland police would enforce a federal drug law, so why wouldn't you enforce a federal immigration law? Because in, with, with immigration, uh, we want people who are in this community who may be undocumented to come forward and testify. You don't have that same issue with drug laws. And it has been our policy for years to make sure that everyone in the community feels safe participating in our justice system. Of course we want our communities to be safe, but sending a message that our immigrant community is not safe reporting crimes or testifying against people committing crimes is the wrong message. So I disagree with the Attorney General on that, and I stand with our, uh, our sheriff and others uh, who say, uh, let ICE do the federal uh, immigration enforcement. Let's talk about the wildfires. Uh, you know, we've seen all this aid going to Houston and Florida for those folks there, but we're in our own troubles. Absolutely. What are you folks doing to try to help people here? Right. Well, we were calling attention to the fact that the Northwest has been on fire. Of course, we care greatly about all the people who are affected by the hurricanes in Southeast and more coming. We care about those people, but at the same time, we can't take our eye off what's happened here in the Northwest with all the fires. So we worked hard to get some additional funding uh, to come through to help with our firefighters, but also in the long term, we need to do two things. We need better forest management, and we need to change the policy so that fighting fires is a separate account and does not come out of the current account for managing our forests. There's a lot of frustration I've heard from people saying that we're not allowed to get into those forests and thin those forests and get all the dead stuff that's off the ground out of there. Do well, you think we, that should be changed? Yes, of course we need better forest management. Unfortunately, right now, when we have a fire, we have to borrow from forest management funds to fight the fire. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's on our list. We've talked about it, and we need to have better management policies and also a separate account because a forest fire is a disaster just like a hurricane. It sure is. We sure have seen that. Right. We have. Congresswoman, thank you very much for your time. Happy to be here. Right. Thanks, you too.